Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy World Tour is a fundraising and awareness world tour that began three years ago, and it ends this December 2017. Here to tell us more about what's going on with this event, Queen Quet. Queen Quet, hello and welcome. Thank you, thank you. How honored to do. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Yes. So, how is the Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy World Tour going? It is going very, very well. I just got back from going out to the Midwest yes. and did a few cities out there and was part of the National Adaptation Forum and got to present about our climate change issues. So it's kind of interesting coming over in the rain today with this <laughs> um, and everything. Kind of talking about a lot of the dynamics of how things have been shifting with the land, but how we're trying to keep the cultural heritage alive on it. And so um, when you were in the med Midwest, uh, what type of topics as well as what type of um what type of people were you speaking to? What was your, who was the your audience. audience? So it was a broad audience at the National Adaptation Forum because you have environmentalists, you have university people, you have government agency people that are okay. all looking at ways in which to deal with climate change and sea level rise. Okay. And so you have a lot of scientists that are there, sure. which I'm a scientist myself. And so it's a broad audience nationally. Okay. So you have also a lot of indigenous people who are there trying to make sure that their cultural stories and what they call traditional knowledge is included okay. in any types of plans for adaptation. I also spoke at the University of Minnesota. Okay. So there, of course, were students and faculty and had a lot of opportunities to engage with them in terms of what they can do in the academic arena in terms of studies and also mapping things like with a lot of geographers right. working with us here in the Gullah Geechee Nation as well. Mm -hmm. So it was really wonderful and Very really Diverse interesting. Audience. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very interesting. So, why is climate change a major issue for the Gullah Geechee na Nation? A lot of people don't realize that what happens with us is that we are inextricably tied to the land and the water. Okay. So as the sea levels change, like when we had the drought change, yes. then farming was affected, but so were oysters, okay? So now the same thing happens again. If you have too much rain, you have too much fresh water, mm -hmm. that now affects the seafood industry. These are all things that we literally sustain ourselves with and have sustained our culture through for years. So that's one dynamic. But then also just losing your land because when we have more impacts from storms, harsher impacts from storms, right. or even just from rainfalls, now we're literally losing land in right. a more rapid fashion. So then how do you keep your praise houses that are built right on the water? How do you protect right. your burial areas that are right on the water? So all of this keeps is part of our cultural heritage right. and we want to keep it. And so we have to find ways to make sure we protect the coastline. And how is uh, this tour a part of Gullah Geechee 2020. Well, this is the 20th anniversary of the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition. Okay. And so this whole year, we're having programs every month that we're calling hashtag Gullah Geechee 2020 because we're trying to get a focus on definitely all the work that we've done in 20 years, but then what to do for the legacy going forward to keep our culture here. As you know, we the Benya and we in the Gwai know we're tall, tall and ding like that. <laughs> and so Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition, uh, what are they planning now? Next. So the next event we're going to have is on June 3rd. Okay. It is actually called the Sea Island Sound Celebration, and that's going to be part of the St. Helena Community Market that happens on the first and third Saturdays of every month from 10 to 3. And we'll also have a Juneteenth celebration there on June the 17th. Okay. But luckily, this coming Friday, I'm also going to be a part of the fundraising for the new Harriet Tubman Monument that's oh. going to be placed in downtown Beaufort on Tabernacle Baptist Church property. And so we're having a Gullah Low Country dinner, and I'm doing a whole presentation called Hallelujah Harriet, Mother Moses and the Gullah Geechee. So Hunter Chilling can come and Yeti meet a singing thing like that, and Yeti but Harriet Tubman right here in Beaufort County. And so that's going to happen at 5.30 on Friday to launch off this weekend that we call Decoration Day weekend. Right. So we have a lot of great things coming up, and yes. I'll be back with you before we have the Gullah Geechee Nation International yes. 
Theater yeah. Music and Movement Fest. Yes, you will. Yes. And the we will have the the uh, website and all the information on the screen so that people Excellent. know where to go and what's coming up next and kind of follow you along and then participate in it as well. Wonderful. So really we thank you so it. much for being here today. Thank you, thank all, you. All wonderful, all wonderful things you're doing. Thank you so much. Look thank forward you. to seeing you again soon. You will. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.